Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Shelly Home Design. In today's video, we are going to be working on this room. This is our bedroom, and we just moved here recently, and we are renting. And there's carpet, and I want to both protect the carpet and not have to deal with it. So I'm going to be installing some linoleum floor down. You could use sheet vinyl or even tiles. Uh, with a little bit of modification to this technique. Um, the sheet vinyl is the same, but you'll see that I installed this directly over the carpet. I don't recommend that. It did end up with a ripply floor, and when I put furniture on it, it kind of dug down into the linoleum, and it was starting to cause some damage, so I actually went ahead later on and I added a fake subfloor on top of the carpet. I used yucca board or hard board, which is um, a hard brown paper type board material. It's, it's very hard. Unfortunately, I would not recommend that because it was not quite sturdy enough for what I wanted. I would recommend using quarter inch to half inch plywood for this project. And what you'll do is you'll just lay it down on the floor and use duct tape to tape the pieces together and make kind of like a floating subfloor on top of the carpet. But with that said, let's get into this video. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to take a moment to ask that you please consider liking it if you like it. And if you like my work, to please consider subscribing. I really do appreciate all of the support. Thank you so much. And let's get back to it. So first what I did is I cleaned up the floor with a vacuum, cleaned up the edges of the wall where the floor is going to meet, and I moved everything over to the other side of the room. This flooring is 12 feet in width, so I had to make sure everything was at least 12 feet away from where I was going to be laying out the floor. And I then did this on the other side later on. I am now just placing the roll in the edge of the room and I'm going to start rolling it out towards the middle of the floor. Now once I got to the fireplace, I took note of where the center of the fireplace meets the floor, then I pulled it out and I sliced a um, an X or a plus sign and that gave uh, like a little bit of room for the floor to kind of move around it and then I pulled it back out and just continued rolling the floor out. Then I got to this point which is a built-in cabinet and I just took note of where the floor ends around the cabinet and I just cut the floor around the cabinet. This was much easier to do than the fireplace. I then did the same thing to the little cutout that I had over here in the room. And then to cover all of the raw edges that are visible from the room, I just placed duct tape down. Now this duct tape is not actually connected to the carpet underneath, but it does clean up the edges of the flooring so that it looks just a little bit more put together. I then did the same exact thing to the fireplace area, however I decided to leave this as a time lapse so that you could get a better view of how it works. I then followed the same steps from before on the other side of the room, however this side was admittedly a lot easier to do. 
This is how the finished floor looks. As you can see, there is a ripply effect. That is remedied after I add the hardboard underneath. However, I do still recommend plywood instead of hardboard. I don't have it in this video, unfortunately, but I did install that later on and then the floor became much smoother and looked like a normal floor would. It also fixed the issue with all of the furniture digging into it. So now let's get into the before and afters. Here's the before. And here's the after. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's much easier to clean sheet vinyl or linoleum, so that's why I chose that type of floor. However, you can do this with peel and stick tiles or any other thing that you want to do this with. However, if you do peel and stick tiles, if they're thick enough, you may get away with not doing a fake subfloor underneath. Um, so if they're thick enough, you could actually lay down plastic over the carpet and then put the floors directly on top of that. However, I'm not entirely sure, so let me know if that works for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I'm going to have a wonderful day, and you have a wonderful day yourself. I will see you next time. Bye.